click on the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to never miss any updates. Welcome to Face to Face. Uh, my name is Dr. TK Nakagaki, uh, president of the uh, and also founder of uh, Hewa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation of New York and former president of the Buddhist Council of New York. So I'm your host of this uh, show and uh, welcome again. And uh, so Sometimes when we have a guest, we don't have a time to do a little meditation. But today, since all my by myself, so I just wanted to begin with a little relaxing. So this show should be something different pace. You know, New York pace is very fast, like everybody speaking so fast, you know, and the move so fast. But what I was thinking here is a time to relax a little bit, and uh, in order to relax. Sometimes, you know, just slow down. And I try to speak a little bit slower. Uh, and uh, also, I have uh, this bell, the bell of uh, meditation or mindfulness bell. So all you can do is together, I just wanted to be uh, ringing three, three bells only. So it's not long, long time. So you can just uh, relax yourself and just listen to the bell and... Uh, you'll be ready for the show or you open your eyes, open your ears, open your mind so that um, you are ready. Okay? Sit with your back straight and relax and breathe in and out slowly and deeply using your lower stomach and just listen to the bell. Okay, you can open your eyes, and uh, some of you might already notice some of the book in front of me, which sometimes, you know, surprising people here in this country. Normally, I don't have this book right in front, but today, uh, one of the reasons that I placed the book is this is actually my new book, uh, just came up in uh, September 2018, and uh, the, those, uh, I do have a little, uh, you know, card as well. So the title of the book is uh, Buddhist Swastika and Hitra's Cross. The Buddhist Swastika and Hitra's Cross. Rescuing the symbol of peace from the forces of hate. Rescuing a sim symbol of peace from the um, forces of hate. So... So this is uh, actually, you know, what people, especially in this country, when you see this, you know, people just freak out and then, oh, this is a hate symbol and so forth. But yet, originally, this symbol is uh, uh, more like um, auspicious symbol and uh, sacred symbol with uh, good or noble. And, um, and then normally consider this as a symbol of the sun. So... Uh, and then, you know, the Hitra symbol, of course, here, you see that's only how many years? 70, 80 years. Uh, but then the symbol here we're talking about is uh, over a couple thousand years. For the Buddhist ourselves, is about uh, over 2,000 years. And then the, some Hindu, Jains, and uh, other Native Americans also use this symbol. And um, so... It is a, one of the ancient symbols, but yet also used even today in an uh, Asian country. And uh, one of the reasons that I brought up this book is actually part of the interface reason too. So I thought it would be great to discuss sometimes in this program, uh, you know, what, what could be really interface symbol? 
you know, because when we go to the interface, there's a Christian cross, or you know, the Buddhist has a wheel of Dharma, and the Hindu has those um, uh, what do you call Om sign, or uh, you know, also Jain has all those non um, violent symbol, and uh, of course, Muslim, uh, your tradition use also like stars and the moons and so forth. And so uh, every different tradition has their own symbol they use. Uh, of course, uh, uh, David, um, the Jewish have their own symbols also. Then you know each those are each symbol. You know each one is used their own reasons. But uh, sometimes I wonder if there are any symbol which was used in a human history as a, like an interface symbol. And uh, it is kind of awkward, I mean, it is kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, strange to say, but yet this swastika symbol is one of the oldest, I mean, common symbol for the all human beings, actually. You know, when you consider the history of the human being, this is one of the uh, special symbol of the sun, or sometimes the, the rivers too. But also, you know, the Hitra also used this one as a symbol of the cross. So he called it hooked cross, not the swastika. He never called it swastika, by the way. Swastika, the w- words that we use is a Sanskrit term, like a swastika. As, as a, instead of W, we use a V, like a V. And then swastika is uh, the Sanskrit term, and uh, which mean, which means um, good, well, or you know, good luck. And so it's an all positive meaning, and actually really positive meaning. Uh, maybe I will open a page like this book, but there's a black and white color, uh, not the color one, unfortunately, but maybe I'll show you here, but this is a Buddha statue, but in the heart of the Buddha, there is a swastika right here. So uh, you can tell that this, the symbol itself is something important for the Buddhism. And uh, it's a center of the heart part. And uh, so this is actually the express, as I said, the symbol of the sun, which is a light. So this is a light symbol. So, you know, we have, we need a light, right? The, so light is something that, you know, break the darkness and bring the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? life, and also uh, bring the good light as L too. Well, because sometimes they will consider this is a, like a four L. Like, you know, uh, used to be in this Western world uh, before the Hitra use this symbol was a good symbol, and then there's a four L combined, and sometimes one you know L represent light, the other L represent life. And then the other represent uh, light, I mean, uh, like liberty or love. And uh, then the other represent like uh, luck, good luck. So for lucky symbol in a way that they will consider. But, um, but unfortunately, uh, during a wartime, you know, the, during World War II, this symbol has been used by the Nazi Germany as a kind of, a, what do you call it? The, Christian symbol, but anti-Semitism symbol. Uh, some people may not know, but you know, cross, uh, Christian cross has been used for the anti-Semitism symbol for a long time, you know, 2,000 years or so, ever since the Christians started. And then the Hitras uh, used the symbol. So uh, that's why in the middle, you can see this is a cross. And that's what how the symbol is used. But then before, uh, of course, cross does not mean anything bad originally. And so actually this symbol could be found in the older Christian church in you know, Europe. And so it's actually all over the world. And then the, there's a symbol you can find in Africa. There's a symbol, this sim- swastika symbol find, as I said, in the Native Americans. And so it is one of the ancient symbol, yet also very, very common symbol of the human beings. So I want you to think, you know, today, uh, you know, even like um, this, obviously the hate symbol, so-called, we are considering the West, 
but it's uh, it's not really that's the origin of it. Then my question is that how then you gonna deal with this kind of situation? You know, on one side this is a very evil symbol, but then the other places that's uh, one of the most sacred symbol or noble symbol. So if those things happen, what's gonna be, you know, the dialogue? And uh, we probably, I would say, the interface is uh, also the, uh, you know, all different revision get together. So this is a dialogue space. So interface for me is a place that you can talk about. So whether you know the one face is this way and the other face is that, you know, I'm of course like Asian. Uh, type of idea or Eastern idea and Western idea is sort of different too. So we do have some, you know, the discussion. Like when, for instance, if you're talking about uh, Western traditions, uh, it's actually easier to understand as a line. The beginning, there's a line means there's a beginning, two points, and then the end, and then it's connected to it. And so it's, uh, that's the nature of line. But then the, for the Eastern revision, tend to be more like a circle. So which means, uh, you, you know, the, there's no beginning and then there's no end. But at the same time, you know, the, any point you pick up, that become beginning and then that become the end. So like that, th those are very different in nature. Uh, how can you measure the, you know, where is the beginning of the circle, you know? Because it's very important for the nature uh, for the nature of the line, but you may not find those things. And so like that. But then we have a dialogue, like uh, talking about, and then try to understand each other's. So where you stands and what's the value you have, you know, like uh, there's a one God revision, and also there are many God revisions. So each place, you know, each tradition has a different characters and different characteristics, basically, and a culture and a history. And uh, um, so one of the reasons that I wrote this book is because, uh, so we can start the dialogue. And before uh, I realized this is such a controversial symbol, nobody can write this book. And uh, even you write it, you know, sometimes people don't take this book to publish. So, so in a way, it's a very, very controversial in uh, uh, America as well as Europe. So it's, uh, it's almost impossible to understand what's really going on. And so that's why I just wrote this book. And so I have some photos from the, uh, like a Hindu sign, yeah, Hindu tradition, we use those. And, um, and this is a Hindu temple. And there's some Jain temp, uh, Jain used as, uh, yeah, these are Jain parts, so the swastika you can see. Uh, actually, the, these are some of the photos that I, from the, uh, synagogue, the, you know, ancient synagogue. They have used the symbol of a swastika too. And, uh, it's a synagogue, so, you know, they don't include the bad symbol or evil symbol there. And also there are some Christian, uh, so there's a symbol uh, uh, use, swastika symbol use. And here's a, also a Christian church uh, in England. And uh, so, so this is hard to see, but anyway, some, some, some of the things you can see. And then these are different countries. Well, I don't know what they can see. Very interestingly, combined with the swastika and then the uh, cross together. So the swastika and cross is very, very close, actually. And these are sometimes used for the uh, mosque, has some of the symbol in the walls and so forth. And then this is also as a part of the symbol. Maybe of, you, I hope you can see the swastika in the middle. And um, yeah, these are other parts of the, you know, Africa they use, and um, so Ghana, um, and then the ancient Egypt, I mean, sorry, the Greeks, Greece, and so forth. So there are actually many ways of use. And then this is a Native American symbol as a swastika. So the, as you can see, uh, you know, these are before the, uh, before the 
uh, what do you call it, the Hitler use, this swastika is used for this. This is a Coca-Cola, actually. And then there's uh, Boy Scouts. And uh, these are some, you know, the card, Christmas card and so forth. So they, do they, they use a lot of way on, um, uh, as a good symbol. So these are some Canadian hockey, you know, uh, team. So, so it's a variety of usage of it. Then, the, of course, some question comes, why Hitra used those uh, things? So, uh, but at least uh, this book, I try to answer why the Hitra used this symbol as an uh, anti-Semitism symbol. Uh, because, as I mentioned a little bit, but he used this as a cross. And so swastika is nothing to do with a cross, by the way. But then the, this, uh, when you have a Christian symbol of the cross, it has a history of anti-Semitism. So the cross is a really to anti-Semitism for a long time in a, uh, Europe. But, so, but at the same time, yeah, it is a kind of a process of learning too. I, th I think it's uh, anything that we do need uh, uh, learning. So for me, the inter uh, interface dialogue is a learning because you know, sometimes we don't know each other, so we start open the mouth, open your mind, and then you can learn together and learn each other. So uh, the same as uh, this swastika symbol case too. So you can learn, uh, we, we can learn what it means, and then uh, if it's something that we can change, we change. And uh, at least it's nice to know what it really means. And uh, it's not as the one way, whether like you like or not, this is what the fact is. So, so since I wanted, I started write the book because I just wanted to provide the uh, basic information, so we can start talking about, we can analyze things. And before, you know, we don't have all those things. That therefore, uh, I believe this book will be very important to start the dialogue. And uh, so, anyway. Well, time is running so quickly today. Maybe I should speak a little faster next time. But um, so I thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, I will ring the bell and, as a conclusion. So I hope you can relax and uh, pay attention to your uh, mind or breath. I mean, breathe in, breathe out slowly and deeply. Thank you so much for joining and uh, information. I hope you can uh, find this book. This is a book published from the uh, Stonebridge, um, sorry, Stonebridge Press, and you will find it in uh, Amazon and so forth. So I hope uh, we have we we'll begin the conversation together. So thank you again, and have a good day. ITV Call of Peace Save Humanity.